this one's packaging's cute and pink and it just makes me happy. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my February favorites here for you today. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my monthly favorite videos. I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites and then I'm just gonna run through some other favorites with you. And I have several skincare-y things, one hair care thing that I've mentioned in the past but I'm like super duper loving again. So I'm gonna mention it again. And then I have a random favorite. So some good things to chat about, so let's get to it. Okay, so for overall Friday favorites for the month, for eyes, I have to say the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette because this is just incredible quality. These shimmers, these mattes, like especially the shimmers. I mean, the mattes are really, really good, but the shimmers are so shimmery and beautiful and amazing and just like so good. I don't know what else to say. You don't even need a mixing medium with these really. I mean, I still use it just because it kicks them up even more, but they really don't need it because they're just that amazing. So I love that. And then I also love these and I can't find my touch and soul, the two sided pink one. Really like that one too, but all the sparkly shadows I would say is like an overall favorite for February. So the Smashbox, what is this? Photo edit eyeshadow trio in pick me. Definitely loved that. Super sparkly. Love the cover effects shimmer veil in amethyst. And then that touch and soul, which I think was in Ida. I-D-A, I think. I'll link it down below for you, but that one's really pretty too. And I talk about these in Friday Favorites. If you wanna see swatches and hear more info and actually see the Dutch and Soul product, check that original Friday Favorite. So this is an overall eye and cheek favorite for the month. This is the Profusion Eye and Cheek 18 color eye and cheek palette and brush. This is like $10 and it is so good. These shadows are awesome quality. They're easy to blend. They wear well, they're pigmented. Just really, really workable, nice shadows. And these cheek products are really, really beautiful on the skin. Pretty, just good. Really good quality and super affordable. So I love that. Overall lip favorite for the month, I would have to say the Laura Geller Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipsticks. These are so nice, just super creamy and comfortable and hydrating and so many colors and I love them. I really, really like Bowery Ballerina. That's the one I'm wearing right now. But I mean, really, all of them. Just in general, these lipsticks are so good. I've been loving them this month. And they're like fancy magnetic packaging, which is nice. Okay, so let's talk about some skincare favorites. So I've been trying out this this month and really enjoying it. I like to use this in the mornings. I've tried it out both nighttime and morning, and I prefer it in the morning. Let me just read, of course I have the box still, so let me read what it is on the box. This is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate, 12.5% vitamin C plus hyaluronic acid. Says clinically demonstrated to decrease appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and improve radiance and texture. Um, let's see if it says anything else about it. Do, 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 do. Says apply morning and night before your moisturizer, avoid the eye area. So I think I'm using it wrong because what I do and I prefer Okay, so let me just talk about this. So it is a vitamin C, kind of a serum situation, and it has like a tingly sort of feeling on the skin, which I really like. Like it, it almost feels like it's like in between heating up and tingly. Like it's just a little bit of a sensation on the skin, which I like because I feel like it's like working. But what I really enjoy about this product is that it almost acts like a primer. And that's why I like to use it during the day, like in the mornings, because it really seems to like smooth out the skin and it feels very kind of like slick and smoothing on the skin. So it's really nice under makeup. By itself, I find that I like some, at least this time of year, I like something really hydrating with it. So I've been using it with like a cream under it and then this on top of it so that I kind of have this as like the final step as almost the primary step, but I'm still getting a little bit more hydration beforehand. So that's how I've been using it. But I was really impressed like with how it looks on the skin. I was really just trying it out, you know, hoping that I would get the benefits of the helping the fine lines. And I'm not sure about that. I think I'm in a time of year where I really just have to super hydrate my skin for making the fine lines look less obvious. I think it has to do more with like really super duper hydrating my skin. So I think it's a hard time of year for me to truly test this and know 
how it's affecting the fine lines. But anyway, I was originally trying it for that and was pleasantly surprised that it's really almost like a like a treatment, but kind of like a primary sort of product. It's not to the point of being like the Kate Somerville um, Wrinkle Warrior, like that one really feels like a primer. It's not like that. It just looks really pretty on the skin and makes the skin very smooth which seems to be a nice step right before your makeup. So I really like this. So speaking of super hydrating creams, I've been using this one this month and really, really enjoying it. It's been doing good things for my skin. I've been using this at nighttime because it says it's a night cream. This is the Derma E Hydrating Night Cream. So I've been using this at nighttime and then I've been using the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream in the mornings and then also with that vitamin C. So that's kind of what I've been using recently as far as skincare goes. So I don't have the box. I'm sure I have it somewhere, but I don't have it in front of me. So I pulled up some information on Ulta's website. It says this ultra rich, deeply penetrating cream infused with vitamins A and E, ester C, alantoin, and macadamia oil drenches your skin in moisture. By plumping skin texture, fine lines and wrinkles seem to disappear. See, I think, yeah. It's like giving your skin tons of hydration. So this time of year, it's all about hydration for my skin, I think, number one. It says hyaluronic acid is a moisture magnet capable of retaining up to 1,000 times its own weight in water and thus attracts and retains moisture for the skin. Its unmatched hydrating properties result in smoother, softer, and younger looking skin. Derma E's exclusive HA formulas blend this remarkable ingredient with skin vitamins and botanicals to maximize hydration while helping diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Product is gluten free, paraben free hypoallergenic and is not tested on animals. So yeah, I've been using this at nighttime and it is a super thick hydrating cream. I mean, you can see, I mean, it's just, it's super duper thick. Smells nice, kind of has like a, uh, it's not like it's like fragrant, but it just smells um, nice and clean. Like it has a fresh sort of really subtle scent to it. I don't think it's any added scent necessarily. Probably not. I don't know, but it doesn't smell like it's added fragrance. It just smells like nice ingredients in it. So yeah, super duper hydrating on the skin. I just layer this on, especially on my forehead, because that's where I'm trying to hide the fine lines. Like I noticed kind of like creping on this side and this side, and that's kind of where my fine lines are starting is right in here. So I kind of noticed some creping right in there. So I just really super duper try to hydrate that area. And I also need to drink more water. That's part of the issue. But I noticed that if I super hydrate that area, the fine lines are not as obvious the next day. So this is one of the ways that I've been fighting that. And it's just an awesome, super rich hydrating cream. So if you're looking for a super rich cream, I think you'd love that this one's this one specifically, but I think you'd really like their hydrating line in general. It's great. I've also been using this little guy. I saved the box so you could see what the box looks like. This is the e.l.f. Massaging Facial Cleanser. It says vibrations cleanse and exfoliate skin for a smooth, radiant looking complexion. So this is what the little back side looks like of the box. And it says, put your fresh face forward. Pulsations provide a deep cleanse, balancing power and gentleness. Unique shape and flexible silicone tips acts as hard to reach areas of the face. Best paired with e.l.f. Daily Facial Cleanser. I don't use the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser, but I've been using it with my um, Checks and Balances, Origins Checks and Balances, which really like foams up a lot. And I'll just get a little bit like on the end of it and then kind of get some of the um, face wash on my face also. And then it like really suds up. What I like about this, it doesn't have a timer on it or anything like that, but it's silicone-y, it's easy to hold, and I love the shape of it. I think that's the number one thing for me that I really like about it is that you can get like, especially around your nose and just up on your forehead and the sides, like it's just small. And it's got this on the back so you can really like grip it. It's got little um, grooves in it so you can grip it well and really get into the contours of your face, especially around like the nose area and the sides over here. I feel like those are just hard to reach areas that this allows you to get to more easily. I've never tried the Foreo, but my friend Jen, um, she's Budiction on Instagram and also on YouTube. She did a comparison video between this and a Foreo, I think is what she was comparing. And she said she liked this because of the shape of it. So. I agree, like the shape is just genius. It's such a good idea. 
It's way more affordable, which is awesome, and it works. I don't use this every day because I found that these kind of cleansing tools are almost a little bit too harsh on my skin, so I'll use them maybe like twice a week or something like that, just as a little bit of extra cleansing and exfoliation. So really like this little guy. It works well. My hair care favorite is this guy right here. I know I've mentioned this in the past, but I just really super duper love this and I've been realizing like there was one day I forgot to use it and I could tell the difference. There's several things that I like about this product. Let me tell you what it is first. This is the Super Teased Make Me High 4-in-1 or 4-1, I don't know, Instant Height. Yes, so that's what it looks like. I'll try to find where you can buy this because I don't think this is a super common um, brand or whatever. My mom gets this through her hair lady, so I guess she gets it from some beauty supply or something. So I'll try to find it and link it for you. But what I like about this, this is a super mega hairspray. Well, first off, I like the packaging. The packaging's cute and pink and it just makes me happy. So that's the number one thing. Well, not the number one thing. The thing when I first walk up to use it, I go, I like your packaging. So that's the first thing I notice about it is the cute packaging. But as far as the experience of using it, it smells really nice, like really nice. Like strawberries, fresh strawberries or something like that. So sweet strawberries. So it smells yummy, but this is a mega hairspray. So don't use too much or you'll probably hate it. What I use this for is I will just spray this right up at the roots of my hair, just to kind of like bump them up a little bit. I mean, it can kind of get a little bit, you know, weird sometimes, but just to give it a little bit of movement up there and texture and hold because I have super fine hair that just lays flat, is just flat. So I have to have something to kind of help bump it up a little bit and this does it. So I like that about it, that it just gives it a little bit of texture, but also it helps control the oil. So especially when I will like spiral curl my hair and I want it to last till the next day, I will use this at the roots to not only give that volume, but also to just kind of keep the oil at bay. I think because it's not sitting flat against my head, it helps it not get as oily. So it really does help hold the style, lock the style, give some texture, give some volume, and then hold that oil away. And it smells yummy. So yeah, but just number one thing, don't use too much because it is super duper strong. I mean, literally I just go, and then we'll do this, and then do this. Where my other hairspray, I'm like, dee, 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 dee. I uh, just go and go and go with that one. But this one, I have to be very, very careful with it. And then last favorite, a random favorite, is my loopy case. I love this little guy. So I'd heard about these, you know, through other bloggers and seen buzz about them on the internet because they do have kind of a following. Um, so I'd heard about them, but then my sister-in-law was telling me how much she loved hers. So I ended up getting one for my iPhone 10, and I love this thing. It just makes it so easy to hold. So it's kind of a whole big long story, but of how I ended up with the 10. I originally was, I got the eight, the eight plus, um, not the eight and the eight plus, just the eight plus, and didn't end up keeping that one. But I had like a pocket, what are those called? Those pop out things that you like hold them with the pop out thing. I had one of those for the eight plus and my hand, that phone was way too big was part of the issue, but my hand was so sore from trying to hold that thing with that pop out socket thing. I think it was sort of helping, you know, just because the phone was so huge, but I just didn't like the little pop out thing. I like this so much better because I don't, it doesn't take effort for me to hang on to it. Whereas the other was like I was gripping onto the little pop out thing. This is like, it just stays in there. It's awesome. I just love it. And I like that I can, I can kind of like maneuver my hand and get to the other side of my phone. I don't even know if you can tell, but I can like maneuver my hand and get to the other side of my phone without dropping it. So it's just awesome. I really, really love it. I mean, the only negative I would say about it is that when I set it down, my phone doesn't lay flat, which that's not a big deal. It would do that with a little pop out thing too. So I kind of have to like, it like lays crookedy, which is not a big deal. Cause I really like 
how functional it is to actually hold the phone and use it. So yeah, big fan of the Luffy case. I see why it has such a buzz. It's good. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below what your monthly favorites would be, either skincare, hair care, makeup, body care, randoms, whatever. I love hearing your favorites. Let me know those down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.